Got it. Ding dong. Hello. Hey, Joe. I'm Joe with Boston Standard. Nice to meet you, Joe. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, the officer said that you're having a problem with one of your toilets or your waste water regulator systems. Um, but can you actually tell me what's actually happening in your own words? Yeah, I have a problem with the uh, toilets. Uh, <clears throat> there's water leaking on the floor of the bathroom right now. <clears throat> I tried to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tried to mop it all up with a towel, but it just keeps coming back all the time. No matter what I do. I was hoping they could tell me what's wrong with this thing. That, yeah, that's terrible. Uh, so, is this something that we're not fixing today? You just want me to take a look at it, or is this... No, i got to get it fixed. I took off today. Okay, so just to be clear, we, we're just going to assess the situation and um, see exactly what's going on with it? No, I want to get it fixed. Okay, we can certainly go ahead and do that for you. Mm -hmm. So, take a look at it, see. Yeah. Over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, geez. Uh, Looks a lot worse than. Uh, Hang on. Uh, who's, do you ever, ever, ever hire a plumber? I'm sorry, did you <coughs> hired a plumber to uh, be in the house before? Oh, yeah. I had uh, <coughs> I had a guy uh, from Acme who used to do my work. He did my water heater. Oh, yeah. And uh, how come we didn't call him out here today? Oh, I don't want to get into that. I don't want to. I don't want to disturb him. I, he was, he had a kind of a bad experience. I don't want to get into it right now, though. Talk about it. Well, know? off the record, Joe, I just want to make sure that I'm not going to make the same mistakes that he did. So could you just indulge a little bit more in like what actually happened with that situation? What happened with it? Well, what happened was that the guy came to my house and he, uh, <clears throat> he scratched a bookcase with his toolbox when he walked right past it in our living room. And I said he did that and he denied that he did it. It was just kind of like upsetting, you know? But did you ever reach out to a manager on that situation? I did. He said that, uh, that he backs his guy and there's no way. I saw, I saw it literally happen myself and he saw it happen. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't do anything about it. I was just upset. He damaged my house. That's really not good customer service. No. How about reaching out to the owner? I tried to, but he wouldn't take my calls. So I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Now, how'd you hear about our company? Oh, uh, hang on. He wouldn't take my calls. The guy wouldn't take my calls. He uh, just wouldn't so take the calls. At, so at that point, you're not going to reach back out to him and try to give him a second chance? No, no, I'm going to give him a second chance, Jeff. I'm done with these guys. Are you sure about that? <clears throat> Completely done. That's why I called you. Okay. Well, I do appreciate the opportunity to go ahead and do the business with you. Um, how'd you hear about our company? I'm glad you asked that question. I got your name from a friend of mine, uh, Jonah. From uh, His name is Jonah Johnson. He's my... Uh, <clears throat> my personal assistant at work, he gets to use his Boston Standard. Yeah, I actually, I know Jonah very well. Mm -hmm. Yep, we actually did some work for him last week. He said you guys are really good people. Yep. He likes you guys. Um, would it be all right if I reached out to Jonah and just, to, you know, give him a thank you for the referral for do a business with you? And, you would? And, and absolutely. That's so nice. You, you tell him I said hi, yeah. You want a cup of coffee, by the way? I'll love one, thank you. I'll give a cup of coffee. Here you go. Thank you, sir. So, uh, yeah, the reason I got to get this stuff done here, Jeff, is I got... Uh, uh, we got a big situation coming up with Thanksgiving next week, you know? Oh, yeah. We got, uh, to got my whole family, me too, except for I got my family coming over. And I got people, because my mom, my mom, she's kind of on her last leg. She's got this uh, stage four cancer. And so probably going to be her last time she's with us this Thanksgiving. So I'm flying in my entire family from out of town. But we can't have like eight people in this house without having the bathrooms being working right, you know? Oh, absolutely. So I got to make sure this is doing, going good because of that part of it. I just got... Uh, I just worry about my family and my mom. If she were for fell or something like that in here, I would just be beside myself. So that's what I'm really concerned about. If I could just make one comment to you, Joe, I really, really respect the fact that you're trying to get your whole family here one last time. If you said your mom's really that sick, sick and that stage four cancer, um, you know, I, I, I really respect that you're trying to get everybody together. And that's so nice. You're spending the money out there to get everybody here is a, hmm. is a good family event. I appreciate that's that. Really, really well. I appreciate you saying that. That's, that means a lot to me. I'm glad I called you guys. It's really good. Oh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Well, you want to take a look at this and see what you find? Yes, sir. So here we go. So what did you come up with, Jeff? Something nice and easy? Uh, well, Joe, it's really not looking so great. Mm -hmm. The uh, wastewater removal system has been leaking. It looks like it's actually been leaking for some quite some time. Mm, it's got a fracture in it? It has a fracture in, in the waste removal system. Oh, no. Yeah. What can we do about this? Is there any way we can fix it? We could certainly fix it if we could take, fix it. Is that something that you'd like to take care of today? What would, you, or what, would, what would we do? We just get it done then, yeah. So what can we do to fix it? How many, what would you come up with? How many different things? <clears throat> so 
No, no prices yet. So yep. just, uh, so our first option is our premium option. <clears throat> it's Joe's Peace of Mind Wastewater Removal System. Mm -hmm. uh, what I ended up doing was giving you uh, the same options for basically your entire house because all the toilets are the same age, same condition. That way you, your wife, and uh, your children don't have to worry about having the situa situation happen before. Mm. Uh, again, so if you look at here. Okay. Uh, what else does it include? Because that's only one thing, right? The toilets? You have three of them for me? No, I have three toilets. Okay. I also have uh, the quarter turn shutoffs. That way it's actually easier to operate. It's uh -huh. going to be a little bit more, uh, more reliable. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I also gave you the soft close seats. That way in the middle of the night when people are using the facilities, it's going to uh, not really disturb anybody the rest of the house. I know that your wife mm. is, a, yeah, that's is good. a nurse. She's probably coming in late. Yeah, yeah, kids exactly. Kids up in the middle of the night. Um, but then I also uh, included to replace the rest of the shutoffs in the house of the quarter term because there's going to be situations where in the future you're going to have to handle that uh, other fixtures. Mm. So we're going to replace all those with quarter term shutoffs as well. Oh, good. <clears throat> and then um, I'm also going to recommend the uh, whole house water filtration that way you're actually going to protect the fixtures and protect those new toilets that you make that investment in. Oh, that's good. How much is all that going to cost there? How much do you think it's going to cost? Sounds like about $3,000. Uh, it's a little bit more than that, about like twenty. Twenty thousand? How yeah, much? Twenty grand, not twenty. No, it's it's actually seventeen fifty. Seventeen thousand two hundred fifty. Yes, sir. So what should we do? This is unexpected, Jeff. I didn't expect to spend this much money, especially around the holidays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can understand. <coughs> So what should we do? Is that the best you could do on the price? I mean, could I take two fifty off and make it like? How about if you bring that down to fifteen thousand? Is there we can do that? Well, I don't want to cut any corners. I just want to make sure that you're getting the best product and make sure that's going to be the reliability. And that I just want to make sure that you're not um, you're going to make the wrong choices by trying to get a lesser product for the least amount of money. Mm. So, what should we do? Um, uh, can you email this to me? I'll give you a call back later. Email it to you? Well, do you have any questions regarding that? Like, Joe, Joe, why don't we do this? Let's get rid of the top <coughs> option. Well, why don't we get rid of that top, top option, Joe, and then we can move on to a more economical one, because I do get, mm. I did give you three other choices as well. I um, see. Okay. Actually, four other choices. What's that one for 16000 Do I get to pay the 16000 or the 15250 Which price is that? <clears throat> so we actually offer a home protection plan that's going to extend the warranty from two years to three years. That's all parts, labor, everything that's going to cover that 100%. Um, then it also includes all, all of our maintenance on your plumbing, heating, cooling systems as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll make two trips, a, two trips a year out to your home, mm -hmm. maintain your heating equipment, maintain the cooling equipment, and then also um, inspect the plumbing system to make sure there's no other warranty issues or things mm -hmm. that may be happening in the future. Okay. So what should we do? Well, if you could do it for 15, can you, so you could do the whole thing for 15,250, because that would be saying, if I do the protection plan? If, if I couldn't, what would you do? I'd do that. So what would you do if we... What should we do? So what we should do? What, we, what, we should, what should we do? Fifteen thousand two hundred fifty. I want to do that one. I say, are you sure, Joe? I got the cheaper ones. I, I I do have the cheaper options. No, I don't want the cheaper. I want the better one. All right. What should we do? Let's do that one there. Cash credit and check. American Express, okay. If I take American Express, would you do it? We'll do it. All right. <coughs> <Good job. laughs>